yeah hello guys um this is the my phone clinic um here we have um, samsung s6 that is having damaged charging port so um i'll be showing you guys a safe method on how you can replace this kind of charging port without damaging the home button and damaging the screen with high temperature from your workstation so we all know that for you to fix this kind of charging port normal method is you have to um bring out the screen then so you have access to the um the back and the option button from the charging port so well for you to bring out the charging port you have to bring out the screen first but that is a long process so what we normally do is i saw some videos online that they will eat the they will eat the charging port with um, high temperature so they can they can um, unmount the charging port but on a good ground if you look at some videos that is online you will see that um, it's kind of risky but this method i'm about to show you guys at I, I think is less risky you can see the there's an home button we all know that the home button is kind of plastic and temperature also can melt it off so that's why i'll show you some tricks and method on how you can you can avoid some damage like damage on the screen or damage on the on the what is it called on the home button that is beneath the charging port so i'll show you guys some tricks on how to go about it so stay in tune as i show you guys so um this is a shield that was removed this is a shield that was covering some ic that was removed from a 40 phone so you need a kind of shield so you place it underneath the um, charging port the reason why i place it underneath the charging port so any heat that is coming from my workstation so it will not get to the screen to not affect the screen so i'm being safe here and we all know that there is a mouthpiece very close to the charging port so when you are adding your piece don't add too much of paste so that the the paste will not run down to the hole of the mouthpiece so it will not get damaged and um, when you are positioning your when you are positioning your nozzle that's the nozzle from your workstation you have to direct it to the charging port not the not the uh, what is it called the not the side of the charging port directly to the charging port the ion of the charging port so you see the process on how I unmount the charging port you can see my nozzle is facing the charging port itself not any other um, area so make sure your nozzle and my temperature is around 500 around 400 degrees or 500 degrees you can set your own on 400 or 500 degree we don't want to waste much time on the charging port so immediately it got weakened so you remove it swiftly you don't need to dwell on that charging port for so long because the temperature can either melt the underneath uh, home button so you have to be um, careful when removing it also so you can see it's off So fixing it now will, will require us to use um, sodium ion because I'll be using sodium ion to fix my this is my new charging port. So I will not use the workstation because I'm so careful not to damage that the underneath home button. So let's allow it to get cold. So just watch to the end. So you see how I'm going to be using um, sodium ion to fix the charging port on the flex. So um, let's listen to the click of the home button.
so it's still clicking so it's perfectly okay so and again the reason why i put this at the bottom is because of the screen because of the heat i don't want anything to happen on this screen so i have to be very careful so what i'll be doing is for me to fix the charging port with my studio So you can see on this video that um, I want to add lead at the back of the charging port legs. So some some technician don't um, add lead to the uh, what is it called to the back leg of the charging port. So they will just mount it straight. Not that it will not work, it will work. But me, I prefer adding um, lead or black, or the liquid um, paste on the, that's the mechanical paste on the back leg of the, the charging port. So the reason I'm doing this is so that the, the legs is going to conduct where to the um, connection on the flex. So that's why I'm adding lead at the back of the charging port so i prefer it this way so the so that it will conduct to it that's why i'm adding lead to the back so nothing nothing special so if you are fixing your charging port directly without doing this just try this method and you see if you any charging port you want to fix and you do this method to be to take a longer time before the charging port to get spoiled because you're doing this to allow the charging port to conduct with, with the connection on the um, on the flex. So um, I'll use the sodium to to mount the charging port, like I said. So after mounting it, so the next thing is for me to solder the back leg. But um, once I'm done, I'm going to use the microscope to sew the back leg for better soldering. So let me switch to the microscope now. So um, at this junction, um, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe if this video is helpful. And if you are a returning subscriber, um, don't forget to like also if the video is helpful.
So guys, um, we are done with the replacement of the charging port. So let's couple the phone while we test. Okay, um, guys, don't forget this is the my phone clinic. So if you love this video, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. This is the my phone clinic. See you on the next video.